here we have three kidneys that have been supplied to us. And what you'll find is that the kidneys often arrive to us surrounded by fat. This is actually one that I've already removed the fat from, but as this is likely to be how it's received, I thought it'd be good to show that sometimes they're surrounded in less fatty tissue and sometimes they're surrounded in more fatty tissue. But we have found that it's easier to carry out the dissection with the fatty tissue around it as it gives the kidney a bit more support when you're carrying out the dissection. We would recommend carrying out this dissection using a knife with a long blade, such as a bread knife, so that the initial dissection can be carried out using a single incision. In order to do this, we recommend orientating the kidney so that you identify the region of the hilum, which is where the structures enter and exit the kidney itself, which is easier to see when the fat's been removed. So when you pick up the kidney, try and orientate it so that you know where the hilum is. In this case, the hilum is located within this tissue here. So then I'd place the kidney down so the hilum was down towards the table, hold my hands over the top, and using one single slice, I'd put the knife through it and push down and carry out the incision like that. So with the hilum down towards the table, I'm now going to insert the knife, and as mentioned, in one single slice, try to cut through into the kidney. So what you'll see there is the kidney has been cut down the middle and now that the cut has been made it's easier to remove the fat from the kidney itself just by peeling it away with your hands. So now that we've removed the fat from the kidney it's easier to see the structure. So you can see it's a nice bean-shaped structure and it's got this hilum, which as I mentioned is where the structures enter and exit the kidney itself. And if we open it, we can see the internal structures of the kidney quite nicely. So here we have the outer region of the kidney, which is called the cortex. And then here we have renal pyramids and collectively, the renal pyramids make up the medulla. Although not visible, the nephrons traverse both the medulla and the cortex, which are the filtration units of the kidney. And we have collecting ducts at the bottom of the medulla, which then drain into the calyx, which then drain into the renal pelvis and out through the ureters. So just to recap the anatomy, we have the outer cortex, we have the renal pyramids, which collectively make up the medulla. The renal pyramids lead through the collecting ducts into calyces, and the calyces then lead to the renal pelvis, which leads to the hilum, and then the urine exits the hilum via the ureta. In a similar location, we have the renal artery, which brings in blood to the kidney and the renal vein, which is what removes the blood from the kidney. So if I use my seeker now to show you, if I lift this part of tissue up, you can see how the structure is made up. So you can see that the renal pyramid leads to these whiter structures, which leads to the renal pelvis. One thing that's important to note is that every kidney, although it follows a similar structure anatomically, they might be quite variable with how they appear. So one that we dissected earlier is here, and we can show how although structurally it contains the same units, it looks slightly different to the other one. 
This is what we call anatomical variation. So showing those same structures on this other kidney that we dissected previously, you can see the outer cortex, the renal pyramids, and the white tissue here, which are the calyces leading to the hilum. And on the outer aspect, you'll see in this region here, this is the region that contains the ureter as, long, as well as the renal artery and renal vein. Okay, so here we've got a model of a human kidney. Um, you can see the outer aspect and there's the hilum that Larissa was talking about before. And just sitting like a little cap on top of the kidney, we've got an adrenal gland. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart. It's a bit easier than cutting it in this situation to show those internal structures. And on this model, you can see it's got a few more details. We've got the outer cortex and our inner medulla and those pyramids. And here, what you can see that's been drawn on is our nephron, that functional unit of the kidney. You can see the Bowman's capsule and located within the cortex, you've got that capsule, the proximal and distal convoluted tubules. Whereas in the medulla, you've got the location of our loop of Henle and our collecting ducts, which open out down onto the renal papilla or the very point of that pyramid where our urine passes out and into the calyx, going out from the calyx into the pelvis and then out through that ureter. You can also see on this model, the position of those renal arteries and veins. So here, this purple color is our renal vein where our filtered blood exits. And this is the renal artery where our blood comes in for that filtration. <laughs>